Hey guys, welcome to another interesting class on Benko Institute. On today's particular class, we'll be looking at how to convert a generator from using petrol to a generator that now uses both petrol and gas. With the recent hike in fuel prices, it has become so imperative to apply these measures. And for that same reason, I thought it wise to have a tutorial like this. This particular tutorial is very, very simple. It's just going to convert your generator from using this carburetor to a generator that now uses this dual purpose carburetor. You see, if you are new to generator repairs or if you are new to technical work as the case may be, this particular tutorial is going to help you, even if you haven't held a screwdriver before. So if you stay with us for the next few minutes, I assure you, you'll be able to convert your generator from using petrol to a generator that uses petrol and gas. And probably you can also convert for people as well and make cool cash from there. So without further ado, let's dive into this tutorial session proper. We'll be using this particular generator for this conversion, Fireman Rugged Line Series, ROD 3910AX. Yeah, before we uh, basically do the conversion, I would like to tell you guys the necessary things will be needed for the conversion. First of all, we need the carburetor, the dual carburetor. This is one of the most, this is actually the most important thing we need for this conversion. Uh, second, we need the hose. Okay, this connects the gas bottle to this carburetor through um, this nozzle end. Okay, through this nozzle end. We'll be needing the hose as well. Then we'll also be needing this just in case we need to use fuel for our generator, petrol for our generator. This connects down to your petrol tank. Okay. And of course, we'll be needing this. This is necessary to basically convert this gas bottle. Okay. It is called the gas bottle valve. That's what most people call it. So instead of using this but that gas bottle that just came out of the kitchen you just have to take this out you have to take this out all right and you basically insert this as this connects from this end to this this connects to this end and this connects to this end this is how it works but basically you will need something to quickly fit in it fit it in so that it will be very very strong and that is where the clip comes in the clip is actually another good component so you just have to fix it here fix this other end here and you simply uh, fasten it to the gas bottle and the carburetor all right so that is it these are the very very important components we'll be needing for this conversion another thing we'll be needing for this conversion is basically the two our two sets but this is not difficult anyway this is not difficult. When you see me open this generator, lose out this carburetor, you would understand better the tools you will be needing. Okay, so just stay with me. For those that may want to get um, this carburetor, I will advise you to get a carburetor that has an attached fuel valve. Okay, there is an attached fuel valve. Well, you may not know the purpose of this now, but at the end of the day, when I fix this generator, fix this carburetor to this generator, you would know the purpose for this. It is very advisable you have an attached fuel valve. Let me quickly explain other parts of this carburetor, just in case you are new to this carburetor and you may not know it. This particular part is it helps in draining out the fuel from this cup. Okay, from this carburetor cup. It helps in draining out the fuel from this carburetor cup. What all you just need to do is to take this valve down and the old fuel will come out. Alright, you take it back and you succeeded in locking it okay so this particular end basically connects to the governor of course if you have fixed your other generators with this normal single phase carburetor you should know that by now basically that is it it's not difficult at all it's not difficult at all but while we fix it now you will get a better insight on how it works so let's quickly fix this carburetor to this generator first thing first we take out this uh, cover and then we quickly lose out this part of the carburetor hair cover. All you need to do now is to quickly lose this out. For this particular um, tutorial session, I'm using a three-way spanner that has 8, 10 and 12 millimeter sizes. 
okay we'll quickly take out this carburetor end here and then put off the foil valve take it off up next we take this out so in few minutes we've taken out this carburetor all right all we need to do now is to fix this carburetor which will be needed for the conversion into this particular chunk you can see it's quite easy it's not difficult at all let's fix okay for this particular generator and um, because it is enclosed i will have to take off this um tire okay for the other kind of generator that is not well enclosed you would observe that it's easy to fit in so i will quickly take off this tire so i can quickly fit it in properly okay you see how it fits in now easily make sure we fix the carburetor spring properly okay up next voila this is what we have we have the carburetor properly fixed into its compartment for this type of carburetor okay that has an attachment a fuel valve attachment it is highly advisable you fit in the hose first before eventually coupling do you know why it is different from this kind of carburetors that you can even couple and at the end of the day somehow fix the hose this is very advisable you fix the hose so let's quickly fix this up next we fix the um shook okay this is what we have guys what do we do next what we do next now is to quickly fix this in Up next, I quickly couple this just like as I have loosed it earlier. all right okay guys we successfully installed the dual carburetor up next we have to connect our hose from the carburetor to our gas bottle all right we have to fix the the hose of course and then we clip it together we, we use a clip to clip the hose to the carburetor this is quite easy don't take much of your time although this particular hose is strong enough to hold the carburetor and of course there will be no leakage but just because we want to be extra cautious we have to do this okay next thing we do now is to do same for the gas bottle so this is what we have now guys this is what we have now guys 
we have a carburetor fully heated okay and we have a gas bottle connected to the fully fitted carburetor up next we kick start our generator well if you are just watching us for the very first time we really do appreciate you guys thanks for coming to watch our video please do well to share this video to your friends and family and also do well to subscribe and turn on location so well other videos are posted you are among the first to see them all right if you need a carburetor like this fantastic like this with an attached foil valve please do well to contact me with the number in the description below and also if you need your other accessories like this this is a pressure hose top quality and of course perhaps you may need um, something like this this kind of valve for the full conversion of your generator you can do well to contact me all right guys let's put this thing on and see how easy it is to um, convert your generator first off we open the gas we so that gas can flow in okay we stretch out the wires uh, the hose i mean to say very very important we stretch out the hose very very important okay and what you do next you purge you purge your carburetor this is also very very important okay this will allow the gas to flow from your gas cylinder bottle down to your carburetor and eventually to your engine okay you purge after purging up next i can start you see we've disconnected this for tab so you know the generator is not being run on fuel okay All right, guys, that is how easy, how very, very, very easy it is to fix or rather to convert your generator from using um, just petrol to petrol and gas. You remember, I initially took this out so that I could um, convert properly. I will fix it back now. That is it from us on this channel. And from this tutorial video, I can see the smiles on your face because I believe you've learned a lot and of course you can now convert your generator. Please do well to leave a like and leave a sub. So meet in our next class guys. It's goodbye from us. Take care.